Conexus Energy has had a solar garden since 2014. The Electric Co-op built the solar garden as a way to be more involved with renewable energy. This year, they brought bees to the solar garden as another way to help the environment. And recently, the honey from these bees was harvested and given to solar energy subscribers. Danica has the story. Earlier this year, Conexus unveiled their pollinator-friendly solar array. If you go out and look at most arrays around, you'll find that they gravel the ground. And when this was built, we said, well, is there other options? And the idea of putting in prairie flowers came in from internal staff. But we'll, we'll admit something to you, it was also less money. And for them, that just made sense. You know, so wow, what's not to like about that? When we can do something that supports pollinators and have solar in the same space and be more cost effective, that just worked. So they set out to find some help. Ultimately, they found Bolton Bees. We started talking, I'd say about January last year, and seeing how can we collaborate, how can we bring bees to their um, pollinator-friendly solar array. So this spring, Bolton Bees brought in several hives to start pollinating in a controlled environment. Bees are dying at an alarming rate right now, and it's due to habitat loss, uh, pesticides, mites, diseases, and many other factors. But one of the things that we can control is habitat. And so what's really great about pollinator-friendly solar is that it's providing healthy habitat um, for the bees. And that's why we really enjoy having our beehives on this safe, like, safe zone for us. With all of these bees came honey, lots of honey. We got about, I'd say about 100 pounds of honey per hive. We had 15 hives out there. The SolarWise garden at Conexus is subscriber-based. Households can buy the energy off of one solar panel or pay to get all of their energy from the solar garden. These subscribers were invited to a honey harvesting event where they could see how the honey goes from the hive to the jar. They also got to sample the honey and take home their own jar of honey made on site. And beyond being tasty, the creation of this honey also helped fuel other local foods, since they estimate that bees travel up to three miles from their home as they pollinate. 35% of the world food crops need pollinators. And this idea seems to be catching on. This year, the partnership between Bolton Bees and Conexus was the first of its kind, but the Boltons are already seeing interest across the country. This is the first time our apiary replacement here at Conexus has ever happened in the nation. Uh, so, and since then, um, we are now on two other pollinator-friendly solar arrays, and we're in conversations with many other solar developers throughout the nation. All with the goal of creating more bee-friendly space for our nation's pollinators. For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson, reporting. Conexus Energy and Bolton Bees are encouraging other energy providers to plant native pollinator-friendly plants in solar arrays that are being built.